Will the debate of critical race theory determine the next president of the United States? Maybe, but should it? Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. Critical race theory uh, has is a really hot debate right now. Governor DeSantis of Florida just banned it from being taught in schools because he said it was going to be divisive. It was going to make people feel really bad, make them feel guilty, and just be destructive to the overall unity of the kids. Um, David, why are we talking about it? We are talking about it because CRT has been a big debate for a few years, but also a lot of people think that Ron DeSantis is going to use anti-wokeness or inverse wokeness to become the president of the United States, whether that's in two, six, or 10 years. Mm. And I would say, Governor, I'm not like promoting him at all, obviously, but I'm just saying like, I think a lot of people like him because he seems like uh, a conservative guy who has a lot of the same policies and beliefs as Trump, but minus all the dirtbag crazy attitudeness. Right, yeah, he's sort of uh, just trying to catch the upside while mitigating the downside. He has Long a clean social. record as of now, from what I know. Right, seems not as scummy, seems sort of just like a stoic baseball player, lawyer type, which all sort of fits. By the way, guys, I would never move to Florida. I like living in New York City, despite my complaints about it. Just letting you know where I do or do not stand. Okay, should these issues, and I think... Critical race theory kind of falls in with the gender identity issues, such as like the Leah Thomas thing, which uh, Governor DeSantis spoke up about, which kind of made him like a star yeah. in the conservative well, that, world. That's right? how he's like winning right now yeah. by going against smoke. But so I guess like these are kind of the issues that it seems like people are most emotional about. about. And do you think these issues will be the reason why people will win uh, the next election. Yeah, I think uh, there's always emotional issues, whether it's abortion, capital punishment, gun rights. Uh, you know, they rank two, three, four, five, or number one, depending on who you are as a voter. But honestly, do I think that elections should be won on these type of issues? No, because I think that a lot of these issues are just kind of emotional markers for other things. Right. But a lot of people don't want to talk about the other things. I, I will say this, I don't think they're emotional in the way like I don't want to write them off like they're not significant these are still significant but they're more symbolic of something else where right. the people take the issue that they can understand them the best or they think they understand to be honest because I think uh, a lot of people don't fully understand critical race theory I'm not even 100% sure on it but I'm saying like I think a lot of people they just think they understand something very simply and then they just act they just vote on that yeah. because because the other issues are too complicated i think that like the other policies and stuff like that you know there's been a lot of scientific studies to show that the more complex something is the more likely people are willing to paint it white or black yeah and very polarized which is funny because that's human nature because you're putting your head in the sand to hide from the complexity and nuanced and gray zones of an issue but uh like we said it's very nuanced and Kim, but, I mean, uh, Kanye versus Ski. But literally, you know, because it's, it's such a stupid, simple issue. But the mo more complex the issue is, the more nuance and complex you have to look at it as. So by you simplifying it, it's actually like taking the most away from that. Right, right. And like you're you're stripping it down to like almost something where it's not even that. Yeah, and I think that if you look at CRT, from what I've been told, I did a little bit of research, guys. I try to be very balanced when I do my research. I read this perspective, that perspective, centrist, moderate, out of left field. And basically, you know, there's two schools of thought in it. One is like a little bit more hardcore. One is less hardcore. It's about how uh, white people are the more dominant group in this country and how did that come to be, whether it was taking maybe stolen Indian land or Native American land. I'm sorry, depending on how you identify that word, but then uh, the enslavement in African Americans right. and why uh, the generational wealth accumulation numbers are like wildly, wildly different mm -hmm. after all these hundreds of years. Uh, these are all like true things. Right. Those things all happened in history, but how do we perceive them? Do white people need to feel bad every day about it? If they do feel bad about it, Andrew, on the more extreme end, do they need to be like work to equalize it every day? and take their privilege and like dole it out to all the people who are like lower than them on this pyramid or that pyramid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's a variety of pyramids well, in, in the game, you know? You guys let us know in the comments down below what you think and if you got opinions on this. I, uh, I heard someone describe critical race theory as, oh, we're not trying to teach critical race theory because that's something that you learn in grad school and law school because that's an like old theory from the 80s. But we're trying to teach race critically to students. And I was like, that doesn't sound as extreme. That makes a lot of sense to me. I could see that being more implemented on maybe like high school level. I don't know about like the third grade level. I think that's, you know, 
uh, that seems a little early. But yeah, I mean, things like that. And what I mean to get at is that it's a lot about labeling and marketing because I remember when people were saying like defund the police and then people were like, what, you wanna abolish the police? And then people were like, no, I just want to like uh, reallocate the funds of the police and, and right. do death, this. Death taxes, death, death, death panels. Like, I mean, both sides me. do it to each other. Yeah. I tend to think that the right tends to be a lot better at the branding game or misbranding game than the left. The left, yeah. you know, obviously just on a political tactical scale, generally weaker than the right. I don't know if they, they're just not spending enough on say, the consultants yeah. or the executions out there. Well, or what I mean is like, it comes down to marketing things too, yeah. which is weird because it's a and political issue. Why should you have to market a political issue differently? I'll just take us out of this video by saying my perspective on it. Um, being Asian American, I definitely think that I have a little bit more of an outside perspective on CRT. Of course, when, you know, our family, Andrew came to America, both our parents in about like around 1970, um, all this like beef between different sides was already existent. It's okay. been existent for hundreds of years. And uh, there's obviously a side that economically much came up on the uh, on the better end of that beef or that that whatever happened that was terrible, you know, obviously it was white people, okay? Uh. And then black people got the shorter end of that stick. Now, how do we try to equalize it? I think for me, maybe if CRT is being used against the people who want to push it, they might need to go back to the drawing board and retool it and maybe think of like universal basic services with more uh, culturally targeted deployment. That's like something that I would be like, hey guys, this is just me being on the outside, not really having a dog in the fight. Yes and no, I do, but not really, mm -hmm. where I'm just like, yo, let's just try to come up with something. Yeah. So that's that's what I would say where I'm like, I, yo guys, the left, you might need to go back to the drawing board because the right, they, they jujitsu this one. I think it's a lot easier to just say no to something than to figure out how to implement it if it's said yes to. You know, and I think that it is on the left to figure that out and uh, implement it in a correct way because, you know, it's easy to just be like, no, I don't want it, leave it alone. And then the other people are like, oh shoot, but if we do get yes, like we got to figure out how to, how to execute it. Also, being on the outside, you know, we took a DNA test, David, and uh, I, we're 0% black or white. Right. We're yeah, we're zero percent uh, any sort of like- I'm like 99.999% Asian. Right. Um, I don't know, I do think that, let me, you know, I don't know if people might view this as too self-interested. Think about what the Asians are saying, man, because we got a pretty good like, third eye like outside of the game perspective you know hey you guys leave it in the comments down below i think i'll, I'll say this man sound I'll, off i'll say this listen guys i think sometimes a lot of stuff with crt and you're changing sort of like the narration of the game and you know if we're going to talk about life being this race up this mountain but then there was coaching and base camp and then you got shot in a cannonball jump and then you hit the mountain at different points and everybody had different qualities of bicycles and different coaching CRT is going to change the narration of that because we're going to look at Lance Armstrong and winning 70, 100 years in a row or whatever for Liv, Team Livestrong. We're going to be like, oh man, they cheated. Oh man, they need to dole out some of the earnings back or something like that. But uh, we, we have to structurally change like systemic base camp and, and, and what bike people get and what kind of coaching. and You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just think that CRT is like, it's just like avoiding the actual changes that would need to take place because a lot of people don't want to take their brain there. Yeah. And that's maybe I, where we're at as a society. People like to argue about this thing, it, that it, thing is so it, trivial, but it's like, it's, not, it's got more complex feelings wrapped up in there, but they're not actually going to the core. It's not to say that it's not a significant issue, but it might not be the main issue you want to focus on considering everything else that's going on in the world. Also, anyway, guys, let also us know. it's a little confusing too. Yeah, let Anyways. us know in the comment section below what you think about this CRT issue. What do you think about the debate? What do you think, do you know, do you think Ron DeSantis will probably become the president within the next 10 years? Probably using tactics based off this issues. And uh, you know, it's just politic talk guys, but we gotta talk about it because this is the life we're living in. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out, peace. peace.